Hello and welcome to Market Watch for the end of the week that started on the 24th of November, even though we're now into December. Realistically, the only thing to really look at this week from an economic point of view is what was going on inside the CapEx numbers. They were good, you can't deny that at all. The upgrade for the current account saw it moved up by about 1%. If you have a look at future intention, solid is the only way to sort of put it to you. Up 2%, it really moves GDP dials to sort of towards the top end of, of people's expectations. Have a look at the chart on screen, you can see it's turned positive year on year, and that is also something you don't normally expect to see, considering as you can also see from that chart, the collapse that's basically been since 2013 as mining moves out. The other side in, in really looking into it, what the RBA will like is that yes, they expect mining to continue to fall away and that's obvious considering the mining boom is over. It's around that non-mining space and the services sector is just ever so slightly grinding higher and higher and that's a positive. What the RBA will now probably start to talk about over the next sort of six months is trying to basically put their spotlight on business to follow through not only with their future intentions of spending but that spending filters through into wages and that is something we've been talking about now for probably about a week and a half two weeks since the wage price index and realistically are now going to talk about for the future because that has now become a clear important mover of everything currency markets economic expectations, all that's inside of it. So that's what really came out of this week and CapEx remains a really core part of RBA forecasting and that's why it's always so important and you saw that yesterday also in currency moves. Did a bit of a whipsaw but in the main you can clearly see that the positiveness is an interesting one because it is this push-pull factor that's now going inside the Aussie. It's got to where it probably needs to be which is about mid 75 cents but has just put itself back in a little bit of a premium and sitting at 76. So interesting week, start of Christmas and I'll talk about that next week as well and what might happen in December but in the main it remains a fairly interesting story around the RBA and CapEx did highlight that.